going to make gyro, like the shavy thing that they make at fucking Jimmy the Greek that you see in the fucking mall food courts. Although, meatloaf style, because I'm going to fucking spit here. So, one pound ground beef, one pound ground lamb. You can use all lamb or all beef if you want, it doesn't really matter. Uh, mixture's better though, because you want a little bit of lamminess. Here we got uh, just some finely chopped onions. I'm going to use most of that, a little bit for later. Yeah. A little bit of cumin, like teaspoon, garlic powder. You can use fresh garlic if you want, um, and just like grate it in. Like that much, two to eight tea, big teaspoons of it. Smoked paprika, just a little bit, and <clears throat> dried oregano. That much. Of course, shit ton of salt. You want a good amount. And fresh cracked pepper. Okay, next we're gonna take this and we're gonna mix it. You wanna mix it really, really well. If you have a food processor, you can literally just take your onions, garlic, everything, and just throw it in the food process, processor, including the meat. Um, you want it to almost be pure. If you got a dough hook, um, fucking KitchenAid thingy, you can use that. But we really just want to beat the shit out of this. Get all your anger frustration. You want it to almost be like a paste. If you have anything that'll like that, like a dough hook or anything like that, you can use that. I'll okay, so you want it to look something like this. Uh, anyways, so you want it to look like this. You actually probably want it a little bit more emulsified this, but I just punched the living shit out of it. Um, like literally just fucking. Again, if you have a dough hook or a food processor, use that. Just throw it all in. Uh, and you want it to be a very like white and emulsified. So I'm going to do this as like a free form meatloaf. Just trying to get it a little bit formed here. You want to really compact it together. If you have a meatloaf pan, you can use that. Again, I don't have things. It's pretty good. I got the oven set at 400, although I just turned it on, so we'll wait to throw it in. Uh, start it at 400 degrees and then we'll drop it down to uh, 350, let it cook for about 45 minutes or so. Next up we're going to make tzatziki sauce. Um, <clears throat> I got these little baby cucumbers, they're so cute. Um, you can cut them, but fuck that. Uh, big side of the cheese grater, we'll just shred them all up into some J cloth, cheese cloth, whatever you got. Okay, so we got the cucumber all shredded up in here. Like I said, I'm just going to use the J-cloth and just squeeze out all that extra liquid. The only reason you're really doing this is if you, don't, if you skip this step, your tzatziki will end up very watery and not like nice, thick and rich. That's pretty good. Put it into a cup. And you got yourself a little cucumber water shot. Oh yeah, healthy. Um, throw that into there. I don't know what to do with this. You go there. Uh, where is my thingy? <clears throat> so I got one clove of garlic. It's a big, cla big clove. Ooh, where's camera? Big clove of garlic. I'm going to use um, the zester microplane and just grate it in. Throw that up. The thing went off, so I'm gonna throw this in. Middle rack, right in the center. Probably until uh, we finish this off, and then I'll turn it down to that 350 and let it cook for the rest of the way. So we got one thing of garlic, clove, clove. It's not a thing, it's a clove. Yeah, throw a little bit in. And one lemon zest, or zest of lemon. We're going to zest a lemon. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. Got the little toppy tops. Okay. Quickly chop up some mint. Just watch out for fat stems like that. Knifey knife. Knifey knife. <sighs> So 
So we'll just quickly roll it up as thin as you can. Keep on kind of rolling it and twisting it as you go. You get to the end and you're scared of your fingers, just hold down the last little bit of leaves. Yeah, 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 fuck off. Just very gently the other way. You don't want to go too hard and like make it super thin or anything. Dill, that much. Dill you can be a little bit more aggressive with, but you don't really need to. Quick chop of dill. If you can't see what I'm doing on the other side of that, I'm just trying to like re-tighten it up. The tighter it is, the easier it is to cut. Uh, good enough. Boom, in. All right. Greek yogurt. Um, you definitely want to get Greek yogurt. Like it's fucking everywhere. It's all like toilet paper nowadays, where you can't find anything. Actually, toilet paper's everywhere. There's spatula. Spat on the special. Just dump this right in. Yeah, don't use like regular yogurt. Get Greek yogurt. Oh fuck. And then just fold everything together. Uh, you want to probably make this a day before. You can buy tzatziki too, a little salt and pepper. Uh, yeah, do this the day before. That garlic, everything's gonna just like infuse more into the yogurt and make it taste better. But for all intents and purposes, we're just gonna do it fucking today. Uh, I'm gonna actually hit it, it's just a scooch of garlic powder. Boom, done. And it comes with its own little fucking container, so you don't have to dirty other things up. Boom. Tzatziki. Tzatziki? 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 Whatever the fuck you want to say. I don't know. You know the shit I'm talking about. Boom. Done. Uh, put that in the fridge for now. Okay. So, it's been in the oven for about 40 minutes or so. I just blast, blast the broiler for like five minutes on high. And should be right around 150 degrees. Oh, it is perfect. I'm gonna carefully take this out. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Gonna wanna like cut into it right now, but don't. You're gonna lose all the juice. You can see how like all the juices and everything like that are already coming out of it. You don't want it to, as soon as you cut into it, you're gonna lose even more of it. Like you can see that shit just flowing, like lava. Also don't touch it, it's all fat. So just let, leave it alone, let it rest. Um, and then we're gonna slice it, quickly fry some up. I'm gonna make a little salad, and then I'm gonna fucking eat. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, so I'm just gonna put together a nice little salad for this. Um, I got some Boston bib lettuce here. I'm just gonna cut it into that many pieces. Got another little cucumber. I got some green beans here that I've already blanched. I'm just gonna cut them just on the bias a little bit into the bowl. Uh, I got a little red pepper. Cut the vein out. Ooh, fuck. Um, add tomato if you would like tomato. I don't like tomato, so I'm not adding tomato. Um, I got some parsley and mint here. I'm just gonna roll it all together. You don't have to be too fine. You want these pickled red onions that I made a while back. Um, just a red onion, quickly slice it, blanch it for like 30 seconds in boiling water. And then a separate pot, red wine vinegar, uh, equal parts of red wine vinegar, water, half sugar. I think I threw like a bay leaf in. Just gonna chuck a little of those in. Some olives. Just 
I don't have black olives. There's supposed to be black olives in there. There's no black olives in there though. Can't lie. Some feta cheese. Because it's like a Greek salad, sort of. Not really. Okay. To dress the salad, <coughs> we got this uh, Kalamata extra virgin olive oil. So I'll give it a couple glugs of that. And ugh, some red wine vinegar. I'll just give that a light toss. Okay, so I've let this rest for probably not long enough, but I'm hungry. Uh, over here, I got a pot of water on um, with my toaster oven's grate on top. So we're just gonna steam these pitas up so they soften, come all nice. So we're gonna slice nice and thin, as thin as we can. Let's look at that. That's nice. See how it's like all that beating, it's made it as emulsified. It's not. Fluffy, you don't really want fluffy for Euro. It's not real meatloaf. Slice a bunch of this up. I'm gonna throw it in the pan. Get it a little crisp. That's probably enough for one human being. This is already still hot, so we're just, again, we're just getting some color on it, helping it crisp up, get those nice edges and everything. Oh yeah, see? Nice and crispy, that's what you want to get. On both sides, or as best as you can. I overloaded this pan, whatever. You do what you want at home, okay? I'm gonna chuck some tzatziki down. A lot of tzatziki down. Good, good. Throw in our meat. Yeah. Again, tomatoes, if you have tomatoes and you like tomatoes, put tomatoes in. Got those leftover chopped onions from the beginning. Right in there. And some fat. just like this. What's up guys? Hope you enjoyed the video. Lots more to come. I need an outro fucking catchphrase. I got fucking nothing. Peace out.